Hi friends, welcome to Aishu DIY and this is a live, I'm doing a live after a long time um, excuse me for a little bit of mess out here I was pulling out all the goodies that we are going to work with today and um, it's going to be a different live you can buy whatever I'm making during this live online at my Etsy shop Aishu's DIY and uh, you guys know it's just search Aishu's DIY and you will get it um, you can buy through YouTube too. Uh, if you want, you can leave me a link below. And my Tisha would be great. You can buy it from there. And this will be uploaded by tonight. Um, and uh, you can check out after the live is over immediately in an hour or so. So I have some pearls to work with today in different colors. As you can see, it's amazing blue. And we have some uh some i wouldn't say it's a maroon it's um a really nice color it's a very different color and then our blue which is navy blue that's also very pretty the these are some four millimeter sorry five millimeter and six millimeter uh pearls And as you can see, these beads, very, very pretty. So these are some of the bracelets that I made in my videos. You must have seen those. And I have some pearls to work with, as I said. And I have some stone beads to work with, too. These are 4 millimeter, And I was thinking I will make some bracelets to start with. And then we'll go into wire working. I have some chains. Usually I make wire working pendants um, in this life. As you know, if you guys are new, now you know. So I do wire working a lot. But I'm going to do some bead stringing as well in this video. So that uh, people can get a chance to actually, um, you know, um, actually buy a different set of uh, items that I make too. And I have a surprise for you guys. Once we are done with this, I'm going to go ahead and use a gemstone, which is bought from Purely Fire Mountain and Gems. And I have a variety of colors. I'll just show you guys a sneak peek here. So I have a full box of those. There we go. I have never worked with these beads. These are pretty much new. I have an assortment of colors and these are from Fire Mountain and Gems. These are green jungle jasper, 15 inch. It's in the shape of dog bone um, shape. It's a very, very different shape and unique shape to work with. And these are all gemstones. And this is the start of the show. We'll make some bracelets with that too. So all of this uh, that I'm making today will be on sale for you guys. So you can buy them. Um, I have here some um, wire that I'm going to start stringing with. So we are going to use, um, use lobster claw clasp for this project just to make it sure that it's uniform and and for everyone so i have here some stainless steel lobster claw some bright silver some black metal gold bronze and copper so we can work with anything, um, any color combination. So I will start with some. And then I need some jump rings, of course. And here I have. So it's going to be a lobster claw clasp bracelet. And I'm going to start with this nice blue. So for this blue, I choose silver. And then in between, I'm going to, 
I think the bronze looks good in my opinion. So jewelry making is an awesome hobby to have. You you really get to spend time worthwhile plus you will get to make jewelry that you can wear after you're done with those crafts. I mean painting and everything is so satisfactory. The same way bead weaving and uh, jewelry making is very relaxing. As you can see, I shall take a different wire. I mean, this one goes very well, I guess, right? It's a bead stringing wire. These are seven strand and they are 0.45 millimeter in thickness and uh, pretty sturdy it never breaks only the place where you crimp the beads that's where it's gonna break if it does but i it's seven strand coated with the nylon so it never breaks so it's a pretty sturdy this bracelet will come for you for life and uh, it's mother's day so you can buy something special as special as you, you can buy it for your mom, your sister, your friend, family. And these bead stringing wire is very special. You don't need a needle to actually um, make these. If this one serves as a needle, it's pretty thick and sturdy. You can pick the beads up just needle, just like that with the bead stringing wire itself. You don't need a special needle for this project. I'm also going to go over the crimping technique in this um, live. I'll show you guys how to crimp these beads and finish off a complete set. So the same way we are doing a bit here, if you string quite a lot of beads, you can do a necklace and finish the necklace off with the same technique and for this technique you need something called crimp beads or crimp tubes which i have over here there's a variety of colors over here you this is crimp tube and you also get it as a bead that's the special thing that you need to crimp these bead stringing wire but once you buy that you're good to go you can do multiple of them as you can see there are so many left i have been doing a lot of projects and you must have seen in my videos so it comes a long way you don't have to buy this entire thing you can just buy a small pack of crimp beads or crimp tubes they're pretty inexpensive and the seven strand wire is a basic wire you can start with you can also use a 19 strand and it comes in 47 strands as well and uh, there is companies like Beadalon also makes these um, wires that you can buy from. I am nowhere associated with Beadalon and it is not a paid promotion or so. I'm just mentioning because it's a brand. and so the standard size of a bracelet will be seven to seven and a half inches depending upon your wrist size how do you measure measure your wrist size you just go around your wrist with the wire hold it right here take it off and then measure this part with this a ruler that's how you will get your wrist size and that way you can make bracelet for your wrist and if you are making it for selling you can just go ahead and make seven and a half inches 
my wrist is about seven and a half inch so i can make a seven and a half inch bracelet uh, to go for me and that's the standard size as well so whenever you make a bracelet you have to this is about five inch so i need a little bit more and we have to count in the space for the clasp the clasp is the closure of the bracelet and we are using lobster claw clasp for that and that accumulates some space so you need to leave considerable space for that so you need to take that into account is all i'm saying just say one inch you need to leave so we need a six and a half inch worth of beads so that we can make a bracelet of seven and a half inch with the clasp So these are Japanese pearls. These are special vintage Japanese pearls that I'm using for this. Um, I'm sure it's very difficult to get these beads nowadays. And I got it on a particular auction uh, online. So it's a very special event today. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. So I thought of using these special beads for that. So here we have around six and a half inches. One more to go and I'm done. The next project will be a wire working project. Much more interesting, I guess, for people who know how to string. But for people who don't know how to string, this is worth um, watching. So here is my six and a half inch worth of beads. Now I take my ruler out and these are crimp beads as I said. So I'm going to use a smaller crimp because uh, my wire's thickness is 0.45 millimeter. There is two sizes here. There we go. I'm going to add my crimp tube and my I'm going to put it inside the loop of my lobster claw clasp. I'm going to bring back the wire and put it again inside the crimp tube. You can also use a crimp bead. So in this um, bracelet, I'm going to use a simple crimping technique. I'm not going to use the, uh, actually, I'm not going to use the crimping pliers. The basic pliers are needle nose pliers, round nose pliers, and wire cutters. So you can get away with these three pliers. So if you don't have the crimping pliers you can also use your needle nose or tweak I have here tweezer nose you can use your needle nose pliers as well to just crimp so here we go I put the crimp tube and my clasp and then I am I have gone through the crimp tube again so if you notice the wires are crisscrossing out here so you want to make sure the wires are parallel inside the crimp tube that's much more important so what you do is you just bring back the tip of the wire, the end of the wire, and hold it like this so that it's parallel. And then push it all the way where you want it. You don't want it pretty tight because you want this lobster claw to move and not just stand right there. So I go ahead and just press the bead, the crimp tube. Just press it down flat between these two pliers. So there we go, we have crimped. Now I move all my beads towards this uh, closure. And you see, if you can nestle down the two wires on top of the beads, which I can, so I'm not snipping it off is all I'm saying. Now I push all my beads towards this end and then i leave about 
adding two inches because you don't want to go very short and find it difficult to close. So here we go. So that's about it, about an inch and a half and two. So, and then we need some um, jump rings over here. I like to use a closed jump ring rather than an open jump ring, just in case I don't want it to fall. That's why. So here I have some closed jump ring that I would like to use. So again, I'm loading my crimp tube in my wire and I'm putting it inside the jump ring and I'm coming back through the crimp tube and a bead probably, just one bead. And then here is what I have. Take my pliers and just pull the wire down. So see, there is still gap here. So what I do is I hold my uh, jump ring in my hand and I just pull them tight. There should be a little bit of space, otherwise this won't fold over. It won't sit nicely. The bracelet won't sit nicely. So there should be a little bit of a space. And then what I do is I go ahead and crimp my tube just by pressing it flat. Then I'll go ahead use my wire cutters to just snip off the end of the wire. And there we go. Our bracelet is nice and ready. That's, and then all we do is clasp this against the jump ring. How cute is that? That's a cute bracelet. You can leave it like that or you can make a dangle here and then put it just to make it pretty. So for that, we need wire or we need head pins. Either of them will work. And I'm going to use my uh, head pins. I'm going to go ahead and use some head pins out here. Okay. So we need bronze head pins for our project. I have some ball head pins. You can use, these are called head pins and you can use any head pins you want. This is called nylon jaw pliers. I use them to straighten my wire out. You can also use a piece of cloth to do that, but it will be a little bit difficult and this would be way too easy. So here you go, a bead, a bronze bead. That would be a cute dangle. Then I'm going to wire wrap it with my round nose pliers, bend it to 90 degree, deposition and then go ahead and make the wrapped loop. Before closing the loop, I'm going to add it to my jump ring. And then I'm going to wrap it around, snip off the excess wire. And then I'm going to tuck in the tail. It hardly took any time and you have an amazing bracelet in hand. As you can see, the color is really, really pretty. If you want to buy this, you can buy, you can stack them up. You can do different colors and stack them up. There is so much that you can do with this bracelet. So one. We are done. Go over the next one. Next will be a wire wrapping project. So the star of the show, as you guys know, is this um, gemstone beads from Fire Mountains and Gems.com. And I'm going to take um, these ones. These are very, very different. I haven't seen um, these beads. This kind of beads and it, these are also vintage from Fire Mountain and Gems. I don't know if they have it right now, 
but I'm gonna make one by wrap um, bracelet with this. So let's see. This is the bracelet we made. Okay. I'm gonna keep it right here. And then we shall move to wire wrapping. Wire wrapping is a knot, I would say. It's like, it's the coolest thing. <laughs> and for this uh, chocolate brown color, I'm thinking which color should I use the wire? Silver, gold? I think gold would look good, I guess. So I'm gonna take some wire here. And then I'm gonna check whether this one goes through it or not. Yep, it does. I'm snipping off the end of the wire making a bend, making my loop, there we go, and then bending it again here, snipping it off, making a loop, there we go, one link is done, the next one. Snipping the ends off, bending the wire, making a loop. So you can you have you must have heard about rosary necklace. Rosary necklace is made like this. So each individual bead is made um, into loops that connects and you form a necklace. So like that you can make a bracelet, which is really 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 pretty. And the pearl bracelet, as you guys know, um, those are also special beads. That's going to be just nine ninety nine, just a special price for today. On my Etsy shop. There you go. And these gemstone bracelets. As you know, these are not carried by fire mountain and gems anymore these were vintage so these are also special gemstones these are going to be priced just for 15.99 at my Etsy shop Once they are gone, they are gone. I don't have any more beads. Just that number of beads in that box is all I have. And if you want to a necklace matching that, an earring matching that, all you need to do is give me some, send me some message and I'll make, custom make it for you guys. So now we'll put together all of these amazing loops with the gemstones and then form an awesome bracelet.
I'm also going to make some wire wrapped pendants today. Do stick around for those. Wire is the best medium, I, in my opinion, I really like to work with wire and um, wire wrapping and um, it's more relaxing kind of bead weaving. I say most of the people love bead weaving and bead embroidery. There are so many different mediums and jewelry that you can work with that you can fall into love with. So with this pandemic, it's it's good that you pick up a new hobby and keep yourself engaged, positive, and relaxed all the time. I really love making videos and make jewelry. There we go. We have made our dangles. Now all we need to do is connect them together. Just open up the loop. How would you open a jump ring? If you um, can look into my channel, I have a couple of videos regarding uh, how to make a basic loop and how to open and close a jump ring so that you, dis you don't distort the shape of the loop. So please do watch them. firemountainandgems.com is an online uh, jewelry making supply store i'm so sorry i just mentioned fire mountain and gems and i and i even uh, even elaborate on that so and they have pretty good uh, prices plus their shipping is 5.99 anywhere in us so And they have tiers, so if you buy more products, you will get more discount kind of uh, discount on every single items in your cart. So do check out that. I don't get paid to mention them, but that's one of the popular websites. And I do buy from bbcraft.com. That's also another website for jewelry making stuff. And then... Um, I do have subscription for beads every month it comes one of them it's bargain bead box let me see how long my bracelet is it doesn't take much time at all once you learn the basics of shoulder making there we go it's exactly seven and a half inch so I might need one or not, but still, I'm going to add my lobster claw clasp. Since you made the loop, it's easier to add the lobster claw clasp. All you need to do is open up your um, loop and add your clasp into the loop and close it. The other end, you need some jump rings. I'm going to put a big jump ring. So 
open it up, add it to the loop, and close it. There you go. Our pretty bracelet is safe. As I said, you can buy this from my Etsy shop. Um, it's Aishu's DIY. The same na name as my channel. And this is the bracelet. It really looks very pretty in person rather than on the camera. And you can see how uh, the gemstone shape is. It's very different. And I hope the camera picks it up very well and you can see the different striations on the gemstone it's really cool and i think the gold color accentuates the gemstone nicely so that's that one wire wrapping simple wire wrapped bracelet is done the next we shall go with the pearls and this time it's going to be the navy blue pearls I love this color. So does this blue. These are five millimeter and these are six millimeter pearls. And for this silver color would be really, really good in my opinion. Um, we can do a simple wire wrap or we can also do gold. Gold also will look good um, in my opinion. So I'm thinking which one should I go with? silver or gold if you guys have an opinion okay sorry i i am very very bad with reading comments while i'm doing the live and uh, i love watching your videos always awesome ideas patty thank you uh, happy mother's day jackie and uh, Hi everyone, Sonia, hello, happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Sonia. And Sam's is pricey but beautiful stuff, yes. Beautiful bracelet, thank you. I heard of Lima B. Sam's beads are beautiful stones but pretty pricey, yes. And um, ladies, there is Dakota stones that you have to watch their live. It comes on Facebook every Monday around 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. They have awesome prices during the live. You can check it out there, gemstones. It's called Dakota Stones, D-A-K-O-T-A. And uh, Mother's Day, beautiful bracelet. I ordered a lot, of, I ordered a lot from Lima beads yes patty that's a good place i like bb craft but takes a long time to come that's very true i love making jewelry too i when we started with covid yeah it's an awesome uh have um, means awesome hobby to have you know thank you thank you thank you ladies um yeah we shall move to wire wrapping and i'm in a mood of wire wrapping some gemstones so some turquoise actually uh, instead of this blue pulse can we move to turquoise it's just my feeling look at this turquoise it's so pretty i love this big one it's 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 14 millimeter um let me take some nuggets some flats some rounds some irregular shape some rectangle mm-hmm these can be earrings very pretty it's how like turquoise some jade and look at the color combination and some basic blues too why not right we can do some basic blues too so these are the pretty gemstones and i'm ready to wire wrap trust me i always like wire wrapping for some reason it's my favorite thing to do uh, so 
parawire.com is again an online store where you get uh, awesome uh, wires it's just for wire you can order i ordered a bunch during um, thanksgiving they don't have much uh, like a big of a sale but i think um after 100 dollars you have 15% off or something like that that was that was the sale that they had but i needed some wire so i have here some uh wire so i'm going to take about a foot to work with it's always better to take a lot than less in my opinion so here it is so i'm going to add this one first so okay it's not going in let's try a different bead nope how about this this goes in i love this rectangle bead so here we go i'm going to make a wrap loop on the top and 1 2 and 3 and I'm going to leave the short tail there so that I can make a swirl when I'm done with the bottom. So here you go. So I am here. I'm just going to go on the top and wrap around once and then come back. and make a swirl and make a swirl again i hope you guys like this pattern how cool is that then i'm going to come in the back of the bead going to wrap it again in the back just like that. Yeah, I really like it. And it's sturdy. Yeah. I'm going to insert into this wire right here. Or actually, I'll leave it right like that. So I'm just going to snip off the wire here. Tuck that in. I'm going to bring this wire. I'm going to make a small spiral out of this. There we go. That spiral will sit right on top right here with the left over wire it's a little bit small so we'll use one more piece to make a matching earring with this The problem with wire wrapping is, the only problem people do face is if you are making a pendant or a necklace, that's fine. But if you are making a earring, you need to make the same um, wire wrapping free form. These wire wrappings are free form, right? So you need to make the same um, with the earrings. That part might be a little difficult. For anybody by wrapping because you just go with the flow i'm making a wrap loop here one two and three is what i made with that one so i'm sticking with that leaving a little bit of space here on the top i'm bending this and then coming back and wrapping it once here and coming back here and making a swirl the first swirl was smaller than the second 
and then this wall as well so i'm seeing if it is nice okay this one is a little bit on the okay there we go this one is a little bit big and i need to move this one down this one then i'm gonna bring I'm going to bring this on the back and wrap it around once. Just a second. And Come in the back and wrap it around once or twice and then snip those off and then okay adjust this so that it's exactly like the other one then all i'm going to do is make this into a swirl i didn't have this much of a length in that so I'm just snipping off a little bit and then I'm making a swirl here. Just bending the wire a little bit as if you are making a, a head pin and then just squishing that off a little bit and then making the swirl with your pliers. And then this one comes and sits on the top of the wrap. And here we go. We have a matching earrings. And we shall make the ear all the same wire. That way it matches your earrings 100%. So for ear wire, you need about um, one and a half inch. So you need your ruler, measure one and a half inch is all you need to make your ear wire. So make sure you cut with the same length, okay? Two pieces. Try to straighten with your nylon jaw pliers. Trying to. And all you need to do is make a small loop at the end. I'm not making a bend or so. I'm just making a loop like that. I'm doing the same to the other ear wire piece too. So it's better to make both at the same time. And then all you need to do is if you have one of these bail making pliers, it would work, but anything would work. Um, a pencil or a pen, which has like a cylindrical shape, that's all you need. So with this pliers, I will show you guys how to do it. And I will also show you guys how to do with the other ones too. So I'm just keeping it right in the middle. The loop is facing to the right. And I'm going to bend the wire to the left and come back. That way I'll get this. I'm doing the same with this. The loop is facing to the right. And I'm bending it towards the left. And we have identical ear wires just in a jiffy so all you need to do is take the tip and bend it to the side just like that the same here take the tip and bend it to the side so adjust your loops and your ear wire is ready open up the ear wire 
and we add our earrings. So don't worry about this. I will sand this part down so that it doesn't poke your ears or so when you buy them. It's going to be on sale. For just $12.99, these turquoise earrings with antique copper finish wire wrapped. So grab yours. It's only for these pieces. And then the next um, project that we will do. Mm. Hi, everyone. Hello, very nice. Happy Mother's Day. I'm reading the comments, guys. I love watching your videos. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. New comments. Jackie, where would you recommend getting one step looper and metal block with a nylon hammer? So I got my metal block from Michaels and my hammer also from Michaels because they used to have this 40% off coupon before. So for one regular price item, these doesn't come on sale all the time. So I used to use them and get one by one. That's how I collected. And one step looper. Mm, yeah, you can buy that from Michaels as well. And uh, Joanne still has uh, the 40% off uh, regular price item coupon. Michaels used to accept the competitor's coupon. Um, you can download the, the Air app and there it will be, their coupons will be in the app. So there is a currently 25% off regular price items, all regular price items on Joann's and one 40% off regular price item. So you can use that and buy it from them. But I don't know if Michaels uh, do um, accept a competitor coupon right now because they stopped their 40% off. They have only 20% off uh, coupons right now. So that's how I used to collect all my tools one by one, one by one, whenever I go. I, if I'm going to buy some beads or findings, and then I just buy one tool with that 40% off coupon. That's how I used to accumulate mine. And you can also try Fine Mountain and Gems. And as I said, you need to accumulate quite a lot to get their discount properly. And they do, I mean, uh, as you go the tier wise, like if you go above hundred dollars, then each and every item would go down by at least a dollar or two. That's how they work. And um, you can try in Amazon too. I don't know how much the price are, but these tweezers and nose pliers I got it from Amazon, Zuron. I had my eyes on these uh, pliers for quite some time. These are high end pliers, but they are extremely useful. Uh, I'm not kidding. I have never bought high-end uh, pliers before. This is my first one. And the I do have beetle-on ones, but these are all from Michaels. As I said, I use a 40% coupon. But the Zuron pliers is my favorite so far. These are tweezer nose pliers. And they get into places where it is way too tiny to tuck in the tails and stuff. It's much more useful, in my opinion. And they have this rubber pliers. I have never owned one, so I don't know about that. But the wire cutters, I don't use. Uh, I've initially bought a wire, beetle on wire cutters. But after that, I just buy one from eBay or means without any brand. It doesn't matter. The wire cutters goes bad for me. I think you need to be buying the expensive one, like $40 and stuff. Then it might go on for a long time. But beetle on wire cutters went bad after a year or so. So I just change my wire cutters almost every year because they, I tend to use a lot and they tend to fray. And this one also started having some, um, some striations here. So then they won't cut properly. So we need a precision cut for that. The cutters needs to be sharp. So that's the only thing I like to do, change my wire cutters often. So let's get to making, um, and then I need to order wire and one step looper. Um, turquoise is my favorite. Yes, Patty, that's my favorite too. Um, you're busy creating beautiful jewelry. Yes, yes, Jackie. Where will okay? I so I got Michael's gift card for oh, awesome! You got Michael's gift card for Mother's Day. That's a perfect gift you can get. 
I see those pliers look great. Yes, yes. These pliers are, and I didn't even buy at a full price. Uh, if you just keep on checking Amazon, sometimes they come on sale, like $10 off or so. When I bought this, this was on sale. I don't know how much it was off for, but it was $12.99 or $39.99, something like that. So it is not still expensive, but um, I think I kept a watch on Amazon and I got those. So let's just wire up this or this. Let's see. And I want to use silver wire for this. 20 gauge silver would work, I think. Yeah. So this is um, silver wire from Para Wire, 20 gauge, non tarnish. It's a very good quality, it's silver plated or so. I love artistic wire from Michael's too. Those are a little bit harder than the para wire, I would say. I always flush cut the ends so it looks nicer. Let me see if it fits this bead. Oh, wow. I like the silver. Yeah, yeah I do like the silver. I think silver goes well, well with turquoise. It does just pairs very well, I guess. Okay. And... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a crystal bead in the bottom. So, these ones are pretty as well. These ones are Fesseter, Crystal or Gemstone, I don't know. But, for this I'll use that. I can also use this pearl, but the only problem is the pearls have a smaller hole. We shall use it in our project. Green, a uh, moss green pearl. Freshwater pearl. And see those pliers look great oh thank you I did okay so for this I'm gonna cut a little bit of wire okay and then I'm gonna make a loop just a big um, regular loop on the top and then on the bottom I'm gonna make a loop as well mm -hmm. I'm gonna dangle this crystal on the bottom so i'm making a head pin in this with this wire or i can use a head pin um, ball head pin or some cute head pins that i have here so for findings findings are pretty expensive no matter where you buy bead box bargains a sister of a uh, sister concern i mean sister site sorry about that of um, bargain bead box they have quite a lot of findings for a dollar and dollar 99 i mean um they carry all the discounted uh, stuff they are pretty cheap and very good quality I love their findings. It's not a lot, but you can always start with that. So how cool is that uh, pendant right here? So now we need a chain for this pendant. I'm just going to make a chain. 
I'm gon gonna cut about twelve plus um six eighteen inches of chain. Give or take eighteen to twenty guys. So I'm gonna cut myself eighteen inches of chain. Just a cable chain, then nice and dainty for our turquoise pendant. And I'm going to take my, my lobster hook clasp. I'm going to add my pendant to this chain. Okay. Okay, I'm moving these. Then I'm going to take my, take some jump rings. These are smaller jump rings. I want to keep this uh, necklace dainty, as dainty as possible. So these are four millimeter jump rings. I would like to use my bent nose pliers to open and close the jump ring because this bent um, area, right? You can, you have a more surface to hold your jump ring on rather than your needle nose pliers. One, I would like to use a tweezer nose or a needle nose pliers on one hand and one hand I would like to use the bent nose pliers. That's easy to open and close a jump ring. And then I'm going to attach it to the cable chain right here in a bright silver color then I'm going to attach my lobster claw clasp to it then as I said there's a lot of surface to hold your jump ring and I'm going to back go back and forth and close that then I'm going to take another jump ring or two and Put it on the other end of the chain. There we go. And I can attach one more jump ring. Our necklace is done and ready. How cool is that? There we go. Take our lobster claw clasp. This one is a little bit big. I don't like the small lobster claw clasp that much. This one is pretty much easy to put on and off. I'll put that in the bust and show you guys. Okay, that's our necklace. So pretty. You can buy those from my Etsy shop, Aisha's DIY. Okay, then. I buy most everything from there. I only have the one monthly subscription. I love it too. Yeah, very pretty. Love the collection. Yes, Beadbox Bargain subscription is the best. But there is a bunch of subscription online. The dollar Beadbox one is also good, I hear. So, um, and then there is a um, bunch of them actually. For gemstones, if you're looking for gemstones, for uh, dollar Beadboxes, I think mostly crystals and glass beads. And there is different, um, I will link down below the different websites on this live so that you guys will get to know. And um, the bead subscription is something you pay in ahead or you can pay monthly, month to month. And then they send the beads um, uh, every month. It didn't, means it will involve shipping too, but I guess it's, um, yeah. I guess it's worth it, is my opinion. So, but um, if you if you are interested in particular uh, projects or so, then you can't. I mean, you can't taper that 
uh, stuff that you get from the subscription to that particular project, then you will have to go and buy uh, from other places. So let's just wire wrap this um, turquoise stone. Very, very pretty. They are pretty aged and nice. These might be real turquoise too, guys. I'm not so sure. But I'm saying um, very, very pretty. So we shall wrap this with um, gold or copper, bronze. Let's do bronze because we haven't done bronze. And bronze is a good color to go with. So it's a 20 gauge bronze and these this is a Benecraft wire. Oops. For some reason my my camera just stopped guys. I don't know. I'm sorry about that. Okay. There we go. So this is a wire from Benecraft. This is the brand called Benecraft and this one is available on Amazon and a bb craft so this is pretty soft wire in my opinion if you are first learning wire wrapping i would suggest to buy a little bit softer wire so that it's easier for you guys to learn all the swirls and uh, loops and stuff it's easy and then um you can shift towards much harder wire so here i have about less than a foot so I'm going to add my beads. And 20 gauge is uh, good because it pretty much goes through all the beads, even the gemstones. But 18 gauge, you always have to check. I need a replacement of my nylon drop pliers for quite some time now. And I'm postponing it. I don't know why. I'm just going to make a wrapped loop here. There we go. Okay. I'm just there is one more problem with the software, it wouldn't um it wouldn't sit very well as you want it to sit sometimes so it's better but the swirls and all will come out very good with the soft wire than the hard wire here is my wrap loop and in the bottom i'm just going to bring that up And make a swirl right there, and one more swirl right there, and then go up and wrap around, and then snip it off in the back. Make sure to tuck in the tail, otherwise it might poke your uh, poke yourself or your clothing. It might pick on a strand of your clothing and stuff like that. So that's cute, and that's again a pendant. Uh, if you want, I can do a leather necklace with this pendant, or I can do a silver or a gold um, metal chain to be in contrast. I would say gold is good. Yeah. Okay. My camera is acting up on me. It's closing on its own again and again. I apologize for that. Uh, I love gems. I think too. It happened. I put masking tape on my plier load. Yeah, I know. I didn't put 
in the start i was in paying a lot of attention i just used it and my line of jet flyers are pretty much barred yes um i tried to put masking tape on my round nose pliers even but it was obstructing my thing so it it's not my thing i guess it didn't suit very well so i just avoided that but these uh, round nose pliers are from daiso japan it's only a dollar and 50 that's an awesome price for this and find i found it once in daiso japan and then i grabbed it and as you can see these round nose pliers are thinner and i have the beadlon ones but they are very thick and bulky so when i try to use uh, pro for projects like uh, for dainty projects not like a 18 gauge if i'm working with an 18 gauge i would prefer to use my beadlon round nose pliers which is a little bit sturdy this is not that sturdy but i have been using for the past 6 years still it's holding pretty much very well so if you guys find this you do buy that as well so you can have two round nose players as you can see this one is much more uh bigger mandrel than this and this is teeny tiny and it's very good for uh, earrings and stuff and it's stainless steel as uh, as opposed to the one that you get like uh, in michael's or in walmart and everywhere you get the set of pliers uh, like this you get a set like round nose uh, wire cutters and ne uh, needle nose pliers. As you can see, this black coating comes off after a while, after you use it. And sometimes it uh, it is very harsh on the metals. Um, but uh, this one is still like the Beadlon one. So that one is much better than this, in my opinion. And then um, what shall we do now? Let's do this, this one, and some pearl in the bottom. Okay, that we will do. Okay, for this, I want to take some wire, which is not 18 gauge. Yeah, 24 gauge blue steel wire. Oopsie. Okay, this is the last project, you guys. I don't know, my camera is shutting off on its own. I have not tried to sell anything yet. I have made a lot of jewelry. Look. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm also very bad in selling. Trust me, Jackie. That's not my forte. I love to make. I'm just a manufacturer or an artist, I guess. Not a marketing person. I'm very bad at that. But I do gift them to my friends and families. They love it, so... I'm good to go that way. But uh, yes. So this is 24 gauge blue steel. Uh, I bought this from bobblesandbeats.com. Non tarnish silver plated. And I have about this much, like 10 inches. And then I'm going to insert my white bead. Then I'm going to insert my... You'll do a herringbone bead uh, with the other one. Insert my 6 millimeter pearl. And then I'm going to make a wrapped loop on the top. Actually, no. Just going to bring... I'm just going to bring this in the middle of my wire and make a loop first here on the top, a wrap loop, twice is good, now bring everything down and then I'm going to make this with 24 gauge for the first time guys. So I'm going to bring this up from up and bring this from the bottom. Let's see how this swirl is made. And then I'm going to swirl these two up as if they are chasing each other. Colicue, these are called. With the wire. Uh, if you make it with 20 gauge and 18 gauge, 
It'll be pretty sturdy. And then this too. Then I'll come here. And then I'm going to go up like this and wire wrap like this. Close it. That's a funky design, I would say. I'm going to take this wire. bring it up on top then I'm going to make a spiral here this is the last pendant I'm going to make and I'm going to make a chain for this pendant like how I made the other one with a silver chain so the blue will look good and then I'm going to put it up on my Etsy shop Aishu's DIY these are pretty discounted price that I'm giving you handmade jewelry and if you guys like it you can support the channel by going ahead and buying them from my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for signing in and watching me make my jewelry. Happy Mother's Day once, uh, once again for everybody. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification. Thank you so much for signing in. And this is my Etsy shop. Bye. Bye, Jackie. Um, bye, everyone. Bye, bye.